Hello, MNS Studios here, and today we're actually going to be taking a quick look at how to update the LEGO Marvel Avengers Endgame version of War Machine. So, this is obviously the War Machine figure that we do get from the War Machine Buster set that came out in 2019 with the Avengers Endgame line back last year, obviously. So, in this video, we're just going to be showing you how to update this figure, how to make him a little bit better, a little more accurate, comparable to his original version that we see in Endgame. So, uh, and now I do, I will have some links posted in the description below, uh, to, sh to, uh, shed some light on that version of War Machine and basically a picture of it. So, I will sh show that video, uh, that picture, excuse me, uh, in the description below. So, let's just get right into it with showing you how to update this guy. Uh, so, first of all, one thing that you will notice with this figure is he's a very skinny figure. Um, and all this torso print, leg print, is the same for all of the endgame figures for the most part that came out in that wave. Which isn't a bad thing in my opinion, because that makes it very accessible and very cheap to get. So, first thing we want to do to update this guy is make the arms a little bit bigger. How do we do that? Well, we actually take these pieces right here, which are actually the handcuff pieces. Up on uh, the handcuff pieces, and you just put those on his arms. So, very simple. Put those right on his arms, covering up that the uh, little thing where it connects uh, his hand, where his hand connects. So, I'm going to do that on both sides to kind of bulk up his arms a little bit, make them a tiny bit more accurate. And there you go. He already looks better. Next thing you want to do is add this piece right here. Now this is actually a custom made piece that I did. This is very easy, pure Lego pieces. And there you go, 360 view of it. Very simple, very easy thing to put together. And uh, this just takes a few pieces. So of course you have the, what appears to be a black lightsaber hilt with a uh, fire extinguisher part here, black one. And this is a Technic, one of those Technic pieces that goes over the axles. And then this one by one modified piece with a little bar on the end. And then this one, uh, a couple one by one studs. And they don't have to be red and silver necessarily. They can be black. They can be all silver. You can decide. You can really customize that however you want. I just put the red and the uh, uh, silver one there just to show that this is the team suit version of War Machine. And then this is just put on a one by one or uh, a one by two clip piece with. Uh, this uh, clip modified piece on here, and then this is actually one of the um, those uh, what are they called? Um, they're the motorcycle handle pieces, I think. Basically, they're handle pieces that do come like all the way around, and then you plug those. You put these two pieces together using this one by one uh, tile, uh, translucent blue, or you can make it red. I put it blue to make it a little more accurate compared to the version we see in Endgame, and then you just line those up, plug those into these pieces here. So very simple, excuse me, <laughs> oops, camera work's not working, there we go, uh, very simple, very easy thing to do. So I'm going to set that off the side, and then the other piece that you do need to put that piece on is of course one of the neck bracket brace pieces uh, right here. So we're just going to show you how to do that very quickly, here we go. We have take the helmet off and take the head off. And there you go. So I'm going to grab this piece and slide that right on. Very simple. And then with this piece, is a little tricky. So, younger viewers, you might want to pay attention a little more. Basically, there's a little rod piece in there. It's very hard to see, but there's a little rod kind of piece in there. And then there's a hole. You want to plug those into one another. So, it's basically the middle of this one by two. Plug that in push this down, line this piece up, and there you go, and put Rhodey's head back on, put this head on, the helmet, and there you go, a completely 100% modified version of the War Machine uh, character based off of his team suit look from Avengers Endgame. Now one thing that is a little inaccurate is the face is 
silver and they had it black he should have a a little more white on him that's completely fine though with me i think it still works uh one thing that's vital with doing this is putting that blue kind of squarish piece there another thing you can do is actually modify this so if you want it to tilt back a little bit you can do that also another thing you can do is you can actually completely turn the uh, turret that he's on his back almost 360 degrees of course his head is there but a little definitely over 180 so that's a nice thing and you can modify this to go up and down or, or side to side excuse me uh, right this so and you can put it on the left side or the right I prefer the right because I do think that is a little more accurate so there you go that's a quick easy way to modify your Lego War Machine and make them a little more accurate. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.